Hi guys, me again with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another P90 modification that I made. Uh, this one was inspired because I was working on the PX94 and a couple other different things at the time. And someone had suggested to me in the middle of doing that a weapon from Helsing. Obviously, either of Alucard's pistols are some of the most anime's well-recognized weapons. But there are other guns in Helsing that are pretty interesting to look at. So, um, one of the Valentine brothers actually uses Akimbo P90s, and they've been chopped in a weird way. And the chop that they did was basically they got rid of the whole back area here, and instead replaced it with just a pistol grip, which, honestly, not a bad idea. Um, it cuts down on weight, it looks pretty cool. Um, and so, doing that, uh, you obviously can't have just a normal P90 after that, so we had to make a couple other changes uh, to the weapon itself. So now, we've made a couple other changes, <clears throat> and we can take a look at those changes inside of LDD. So, this is the chopped P90, pretty simple looking. One of the main changes that I wanted to show off was it auto-ejects now, um, and it's kind of a... a weird but cool feature that I'm thinking about would be awesome on a P90. So basically, when you push your magazine in, it would be under spring pressure from a spring in this area right about here. And there's a pivot point that you can see these arrows are set up on here. So you would pull the magazine release, which would unlock the magazine. A spring on this pivot point is going to then push this up like so. Okay, you were just cooperating with me, now you're not. Come on. It would push this up all the way. Come on. You should go more than that. It, it, it would go, all, it go, it goes farther than this. I, it's just not cooperating with me. The second this clears your back end here, this magazine is going to be under spring pressure, so it will eject out of the weapon itself, which means all you got to do is press your reload, your magazine release here as you reach down to grab another magazine release to put into the weapon itself. So that's kind of the idea of what's going on here. Pretty basic. You then lock it back into place with your new fresh magazine. You would charge the weapon with your standard charging handle here as shown, and then you would be ready to rock and roll. Uh, sling spot back here kind of basic i just wanted to add a black section back here it just looked cool pretty simple um newer style front end on this for obvious reasons a standard um quicksilver industries grip going on here uh, again shell ejection port is retained as being back here pretty basic uh, and then we have our extended barrel here and because we have an extended barrel we needed our extended um, receiver. So this now has a tri-rail system on it. So we have two side rails and a bottom rail so we can apply any type of grips that we want and lates, lasers and lights and things like that on this model as well uh, as some pretty cool looking vents going on up here. Pretty simple. That is the FN Herstel Chopped P90. Pretty basic. Not a, not a whole lot going on. Uh, and yeah, that is that. So I will see you guys later in another YouTube video. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos similar to this one.